Hello, Cabot Yorksa friends. Time for the next part of the Stinky Cheese Man and other fairly stupid tales. I hope you enjoy. Chicken Lickin. Once upon a time, Chicken Lickin was standing around when a piece of something fell on her head. She wasn't the brightest thing on two legs, so she started running around in circles, clucking, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, we must tell the president. Chicken Lickin ran to her friend Ducky Lucky and clucked, Ducky Lucky, Ducky Lucky, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, we must tell the president. Let's go, quacked Ducky Lucky. Chicken Lickin and Ducky Lucky ran to their friend Goosey Lucy and yelled, Goosey Lucy, Goosey Lucy, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, we must tell the president. Let's go, honked Goosey Lucy. Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, and Goosey Lucy ran to their friend Cocky Lucky and yelled, Cocky Lucky, Cocky Lucky, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, we must tell the president. Let's go, crowed Cocky Lucky. Wait a minute, wait a minute, cried Jack the narrator. I forgot the table of contents. I forgot the table of contents. Hey, you're not in this story, said Chicken Lickin. I know, said Jack the narrator, but I came to warn you. The table of contents is, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, clucked Chicken Lickin. We must tell the president. So Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Lucky ignored Jack the narrator and ran off to catch a plane to Washington. Just outside the airport, they met Foxy Loxy. Foxy Loxy, Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. We must tell the president, yelled Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Lucky. Well, come with me, said Foxy Loxy. I know a shortcut to the airport. Foxy Loxy led Chicken Lickin, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, and Cocky Lucky to his cave. He didn't get to eat them, though, because Chicken Lickin was almost right. The sky wasn't falling. The table of contents was. It fell and squashed everybody. The end. Next, you can see we have our table of contents. So the stories are Chicken Lickin, The Princess and the Bowling Ball, The Really Ugly Duckling, the other frog prince, Little Red Running Shorts, Jack's Bean Problem, Cinder Rumpelstiltskin, The Tortoise and the Hare, The Stinky Cheese Man, and The Boy Who Cried, Cow Patty. The next story is The Princess and the Bowling Ball. Once upon a time, there was a prince, and this prince's dad and mom, the king and queen, somehow got it into their royal heads that no princess would be good enough for their boy unless she could feel a pea through 100 mattresses. So it should come as no surprise that the prince had a very hard time finding a princess. Every time he met a nice girl, his mom and dad would pile 100 mattresses on top of a pea and then invite her to sleep over. When the princess came down for breakfast, the queen would ask, how did you sleep, dear? And the princess would politely say, fine, thank you. And the king would show her the door. Now this went on for three years. And of course, nobody ever felt the pee under 100 mattresses. Then one day the prince met the girl of his dreams. He decided he'd better do something about it. So that night before the princess went to bed, the prince slipped his bowling ball under the 100 mattresses. When the princess came down for breakfast the next morning, the queen asked, how did you sleep, dear? This might sound odd, said the princess, but I think you need another mattress. I felt like I was sleeping on a lump as big as a bowling ball. The king and queen were satisfied. The prince and princess were married, and everyone lived happily, though maybe not completely honestly, ever after. The end. And the next story, The Really Ugly Duckling. Once upon a time, there was a mother duck and a father duck who had seven baby ducklings. Six of them were regular looking ducklings. The seventh was a really ugly duckling. Everyone used to say, what a nice looking bunch of ducklings. All except that one. Boy, he's really ugly. The really ugly duckling heard these people, but he didn't care. He knew that one day he would probably grow up to be a swan and be bigger and look better than anything in the pond. Well, as it turned out, 
he was just a really ugly duckling. And he grew up to be just a really ugly duck. The end.